latest on the crash investigation. I'm told residents here at the Waverly on the Lake apartments could be allowed back into this building as early as tomorrow. But the NTSB says it could take several months and up to two years to determine what exactly went wrong with the aircraft that miraculously stopped short of this building. I had people calling me and saying, oh, are you OK? Are you OK? Susan Jushaw says she wasn't home at the time of yesterday's jet crash at the Thunder Over Michigan Air Show. But she says she typically watches the show while out on the lake. As seen here, the NTSB says the pilots had ejected once they noticed engine difficulties and loss of power. I always wonder when we're watching the planes at the air shows, we go out on the lake on our pontoon boat. And I always wonder, like, oh my gosh, one of them could plummet into the lake. Something happens or there's a crash. Take a look at this drone footage of the crash site captured by Dan Finnegan moments after. Look closely at the ground leading up to the wreckage. NTSB senior air safety investigator John Brannon says once the Russian fighter jet initially hit the ground, it then traveled about 500 more feet, crashing into trees and unoccupied vehicles before coming to a rest about 20 feet from the apartment building. This oak tree is credited with deflecting and slowing the plane down. It's very fortunate that, uh, of course, that nobody on the ground was injured. He says one pilot suffered serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Both pilots landed in Belleville Lake and were rescued by boaters. Brennan says because of the complexity of the Russian aircraft, it will be moved and studied elsewhere. As for the environmental impact. The emergency has been mitigated and now we're in what's called a recovery phase. Joe DeGrazia with Eagle, the state's environmental regulator, tells me fuel is being scraped from the soil. Standing water and gas have been removed. Impacted vehicles and one of the jet's wings were hosed down with foam. Booms and a dam have been put into Willow Run Creek and sewers have been blocked all as a precaution. The NTSB expects to publish a preliminary report in about 10 days, but again, we're told it could take up to two years to come up with a probable cause. In Van Buren Township, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, Darren, thank you.